Hi guys, my name is Nadia. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a glow in the dark marbled stone kind of tutorial for you guys. So you want to start out with a white base. You can use your favorite uh, white polish. This is one from Color Club called French Tip. Because it's going to get a little bit messy, you want to use some type of liquid latex to protect your skin. So I'm using the Manny Defender Liquid Latex Shield from Lantern and Ren. I think this is just the color teal. It's like her basic one. It's really nice and it, you will see later it peels off in one nice thick coat. So for the glow in the dark portion, I'm going to be using Foxfire and Angler, which are new glow in the dark colors from INM Nails. Originally, I wanted to do kind of like a watercolor background using a sponge. I've done this before, but these polishes are really thin and really sheer, and so sponging it on really did not work. You can see that's just a total fail. The color is not transferring at all. This isn't gonna work. So I decided to try something else instead, and I just kind of dabbed on the colors with the tip of my brush and sort of just spread it around, creating a really nice uh, watercolor effect. I did a few layers of this to build up opacity until I was happy with the final result. These polishes have a really jelly sheer kind of finish to them so it was pretty easy to just kind of blend them together you just kind of dab it on and they, they'll just blend together and, and I don't know I liked the final look with it I just added some top coat because I'm gonna be stamping on top of it next for the stamping I'm going to be using moonflower polish no shade and silver I stamped using two images from the Dixie plates marbled 01 plate I got this with a blogger discount from lantern and run moonflower polish no shade is also available at lantern and run so I started out with the clear, big blue clear stamper, which I also got from Lantern and Run, with a Moonflower Polish Silver in one of the images, and I stamped that on my nail. Then I flipped the plate around and used another image, and I'm going to uh, use No Shave for this one. off the latex and I really liked how thick it was and how cleanly it peeled off. Sometimes with these liquid latex they peel off in chunks and it's kind of just as messy as if I hadn't used it. And here's what my mani looked like once I had top coated and cleaned up all of my nails. Here's what it's kind of looking when you put it in the dark. I had issues getting this on camera. It glows in the dark really brightly, so I used an um, LED light for gel nails to charge it up so you could see the glow. So it is a really intense glow. It's just that my camera was not capturing. I got it there for just like a few seconds. I freeze the frame so you can see that it really does glow. But on camera, they fade really quickly, but in real life, they you could still see the glow. Here's my swatch photo taken with my Nikon. I normally record videos with my cell phone. You can get a better look of how bright and intense the glow in the dark look is. Foxfire and Angler are available right now at inmnails.com and Moonflower Polish Noche, the Dixie Plates Marbled One Plate, and the Manning Defender are from Lantern and Red. I will have more swatches and info on my blog at mamahartspolish.com. Thanks for watching!